Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye and I am here with Ultimate Fishing Simulator 2. The demo just came out today and I am going to be checking this game or at least this demo out to see what the upcoming game is going to be like. I guess there's going to be a lot of changes and twists and whatnot, but it looks like the only waterway that's available is Jackson County, United States. These are all going to be eventually coming into play. The Keel Canal, Alaska, that's cool. Uh, Russia, the Nisko, Thailand, Slovakia, and probably some others since there's an arrow there. So I'm going to take a look around in this and see what we've got here. We've Basically, in this particular map, we've got, it's a USA map on the Flat Creek, which is a tributary of the Snake River, to one of the main rivers of Yellowstone Park. Cool. It is the gateway to Grand Teton National Park, whose landscape delights with meadows, forests, lakes, and rivers, as well as mountain ranges. We have yellow perch, rainbow trout, black bullhead catfish, sockeye salmon, and smallmouth bass available to us. So we just got five species at this point to get an idea how the gameplay goes. Now, before we go fishing at this point, I want to see what we have available to us. It looks like we have a little bit of stuff here. We've got two sets of gear here. We've got a, looks like a feeder master rod. The Barracuda Queen. Okay, we already need to change the settings here. Let's see. Current language. We've got English. Okay, we've got display, field of view, sound, language, graphics. Okay, we're going to see if we can change. No, I don't think we've got the ability to change it to from the metric system, unfortunately, yet. That will probably come later, but I was... Thinking I'd check. Again, this is just a brief look at this thing. So we've got back to gameplay. And there's some help if we need it. This gives us an idea of where or what we need to use. So choosing your rod is done by the numbers. Looks like WSD, ASD, do movement z for zoom c for change view of caught fish so you can look underwater still looks like everything's pretty much similar to the other version the earlier version except this one has an underwater camera which is different the real drag is done by the plus and minus line leaders done by the closed and open and closed brackets Hopefully they'll kind of walk you through this a little bit. If not, we'll we'll figure it out and hit help again. I think F1 will always take you there. So let's go ahead and go fishing. See what we can do here. Oh, yep, they are going to bring it up. So they're not going to make it impossible for you. Moving around. WSD casting. That's done with your mouse. Reeling, left mouse button, fight. You can activate the keyboard arrows to zoom. Look at the fish. You can sell the fish or release the fish. You can float fish. You can spin fish. And like I said, we have, looks like we have float and lure fishing capabilities. So I don't like that blur that happens in some games that they set up. So let me go to No, I don't want to exit. Well, that's nice. You can throw that up with the tab button. So if you want to see your settings, you can do that. 2 is F2 is your settings which I am going to change that if I can do so. Let's see. Yeah, the blur. I hate the blur. <laughs> Absolutely cannot stand that. Everything's set to the highest set. It, well, no. Yep, it's set to ultra. Okay. There, it's a little bit better. All right. So, what do we do now? 
F1 help. So we just walk up to wherever we're going to fish like this. And hit F1 and I guess that's pretty much it. This is cool looking actually. Oh wow. That's cool. It's an eagle. Whoop. Wait a minute. So you hit the this button. Well that kind of lobs it out. That's not what I want to do. Okay, how do I... Do I just cast it like... No, that's not how you do it. Okay, speed's 50%. I'm trying to figure this out here, guys. Tab, let's see. Oh, LMB, cast far. RMB, cast near. Okay. Let's see, F is for flashlight. G is to turn off the HUD. Okay, let's see. Space jumps. <laughs> All right. Ah, there we go. Now, let's see, I think the plus, yep. That sets the real speed, which we don't want it that fast. Left control, 100% real speed. Scroll mode, real speed. Left mouse button, close bail. Ah, we got to do that too. You can do Q. Man, this is a lot more complicated. But we want to take that real drag down. That's the real drag. Uh, real speed, scroll, middle mouse button. Well, it doesn't seem to be working. Let's try to stop and go and see what happens. Well, this is a regular lure here, so I don't think it really matters. Lift and drop slow. Oh wow, look at that. Driftwood. Yeah, this is a little bit more like it is in Fishing Planet. Yeah, I've got to play around with this a little bit, guys, to get the displaying purposes down. So it seems to me like it's a little too fast. But I can't adjust. Wait a minute. Speed. Oh, I see it now. Let's set the speed down to about 25. I knew that was just too, fi too fast. Let's put it, or 30. Let's do 30. There's a bird over there. Look. Check it out. It's like a heron or something. And look at that, you can see floating 
things going downstream. That's pretty cool. So far, I'm not getting any bites. So I don't know if I'm... Oh, okay. If you watch your lure, it's turning green as you're pulling it. Very interesting. Okay. Yeah, I don't see any tutorial of any kind, so we're kind of doing this without any assistance here. So hopefully that means the presentation looks good. I'm just apparently not fishing where there's any fish. Hmm. <laughs> well, we could go look around. See if there's someplace else. Wait a minute. Can you put... Let's see. Can you put the rod away? Oh, wait a minute. Here's a float fishing rod. Okay. Why don't we try that? Now this is where we're going to want to lob it in. Looks like we got bread as our only option at this moment. Now how do we zoom in? Uh, there's quite a current here though. That's Wait a minute, the bobber is moving. Let's see, zoom in. How do you zoom in? I thought it was Z. Oh, that's... Let's try the C thing. Well, C doesn't seem to do anything. Let's see, how do you do the underwater camera? Flashlight, choose rod, underwater camera, you and I. Oh, there we are. Well, that's cool. Now the Z works. That's actually pretty cool. But it also lets you see where the fish are, too. I think the current here may be a little too strong. I think what we're going to do is we're going to move to some place where it's not quite so active, maybe. <laughs> yeah, this. Let's see, we got a place. We got places over here. It looks like. Let's check over here. What's what do we got around here to look at? Oh, this is really immersive. Aha! Got us a couple of fishing places here that's looking pretty good. Like I said, the current is so strong here, though. That's the only problem with float fishing, but it looks like you can fish a lot of different spots. I see right here might not be so bad. All right. Let's see what we can do here. We'll go check underwater and see if we see any fish. I'm not seeing anything. Wow, this is pretty darn cool. I can't 
can't see any fish. Lots of grass. I think that's as far over here as we can go. Well, let me switch to the other rod and see if I can see anything using this. Yeah, the first time I tried the original Ultimate Fishing Simulator it took me a while to get the settings down too. Well, that looks... Oh, okay, I thought that was a fish. It was a plant. <laughs> yeah, it's going way too fast. Let's try it at about twenty five. There we go. We got a little perch. Okay, let's change our camera view to the top view. Oh, well, that was cool. Press and hold that and you can pick the fish up. It's a yellow perch. You can either sell him. He's $88. 88 kilograms or you can release him for extra XP. Well, I'm going to sell him because I need cash. Well, that was pretty cool. I think the drag is just about right. The speed's just about right. Still trying to learn the controls. I'm a little, I'm a little bit fumbling here. First, I didn't see any fish. I was getting a little worried. <laughs> I was like, "Oh shoot, there's a bug. There's no fish." No, I just wasn't patient enough. I think I had it way too fast. Oop, that was an overthrow. I do kind of like the underwater view because then at least you know you've got something. The only problem with the float is that there's so much current here, I'm not so sure how good it's going to do. Yeah, you don't just see the fish swimming around. He came out of nowhere, like that one did. And we got him. I think he's a little bit bigger. Yep, 1.17 kilograms. I don't know if there's any fancy stuff you can do with the... Let me see if you can change the view. Yes, you can. There you go, guys. Check that out. That is cool. I wish you could do that with the original Ultimate Fishing Simulator. Alright, we're going to sell him too. Alright, let me switch this rod over. I'm not entirely convinced about 
my abilities with this. Let's see. Okay, let's change the leader to a little bit deeper. I think that might be my problem. Well, let's go with 6.6 meters. There's got to be a good place to fish, float fish here. I'm not so sure this is it. Let me see here. Yeah, camera movement is a little jerky, but I'm sure that will be. But I must say the immersion is very, very good here. Let's see. I like all the extras they threw in. I do like the fact that, like, there's a there was a heron bird sitting over off to the distance, just fishing on its own. The eagles. Wait a minute, let me see. Where does this go? Okay, you cannot walk off the dock. <laughs> That's always a concern. I mean, you know, you never know. You can walk off and... Okay, we can't go any further than that. Just kind of get the my bearings here. Okay, let's see... Well, I overthrew that, didn't I? <laughs> oh boy, here we go. Bait. Poles doing weird stuff. Let's see. Alright guys, I have tried several things in regards to float fishing. It seems like the current here is just so daggone strong. I'm not sure exactly how or even if it can be done on this particular waterway. Maybe, I mean, it seems to me like if they've given it to you, you should be able to do it. But could, maybe it's not really that effective in the demo. I'm not sure. But I will tell you this, the, the real... I will tell you this, the lure fishing works great. And I am going to show you over here. I did see some other species. Let me see if I can get this to cast here. Now I'm going to take it down to underwater. But I saw quite... Whoop. Got to get the speed down every time you switch poles. You can see fish right along here. And some of them are fairly decent sized. Not sure why I'm not getting a good presentation, but I think it's because it took the speed up too fast again. Let me take the speed down just a little bit again. Alright, let's take it to about 25. Well, I think you can only do it in increments that are even. Now, I hope you can't get snagged on floating debris. You might be able to, I don't know. Okay, now it's going green. That's why none of the fish are showing any interest at all. Now you can see the fish. I'm not sure what they're interested in. There's a perch. I think he is interested. Okay, we're going to take it back up here because this is more traditional. 
Now this guy is a lot bigger than what I've been getting, so... There we go. 1.10 kilograms, nice little perch. I'm really wanting to get some of those other fish species that are out there. I saw quite a few down there. Look like either trout or salmon or something. I couldn't I can't remember which species they said are available here. Aha! Ah, you little bugger! <laughs> the other one was gonna get it too. That's what gets me. Ugh. Yeah, this kind of fishing is working very well, but the float fishing didn't do anything. So I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I may have to go off camera and play around with it a little bit more than just this first look. This seems to be fairly well mastered now. I may have to take the tension up just a little bit. Not too much. There we go. Yeah, he's a little bit... Yeah, he's probably my biggest one so far 134 cash I mean this is a real good spot right here too and it won't cast if you're pointed towards something like a rock facing it's not gonna let you do it all right let's see if we can get something different here guys could not believe that. That trout was about ready to take it, and then a little perch came in. There we go. Now we got him. And now we got one. There he is. Sockeye Salmon. Yeah, none of these guys are very big. Now, I thought I saw something else down there. I think they said there were bull trout in here, too. Yeah, I really like this. And I like the ability to flip back and forth because I can kind of watch what's going on. See which fish are going for it and maybe try to finagle it so that the fish I want grabs it. <laughs> okay, I don't see one this time. Yeah, this water is a little too fast moving and deep. I think that's what's making it kind of problematic for the... Did I get a fish? Yeah, I did. <laughs> oh, he's a big one too. Yeah. Well, those perch are really biting good here, I'll tell you that. Yeah, I did discover this when I was float fishing. I was trying to see if anything was over here because I wasn't seeing any fish on this side of things. And I did manage to get some different species that I didn't see over there. And I want you guys to see this. If we can get one. Okay, let's change the camera view.
now. I'm gonna keep the tension where it is. I think it's all right. Okay, there's another sockeye. Boom! And there's another fish. I think we might have a smallmouth bass here. He's a little bitty fella. Look at that. 0.39 kilograms. But he's... That's bait. That is bait. Yeah, that's... They don't get much bigger than that here. They're pretty small. Let's see what's over on this side. Okay, I'm going to let it go down just a little bit. Yeah, I tried to look around to see if I could find some areas where the water was almost stagnant, not moving so much, and I really couldn't find any. It's very fast flowing here, and it's spring fed, that's what the bubbles are from. So it's highly aerated. Okay, where the heck did I get that one last time? There we go. That, my friends, is a catfish. It's a black bullhead. This one's not a bad size. We may need to take the ten tension down just a tad, because he's... Eh, maybe not. Okay, this guy... Let's see. Okay, let's see if we can't put a little more tension on this because this guy is not coming in. There we go. It's just touching the red, but not in the danger zone just yet. This is probably the biggest fish I've caught yet. Because he is a lot tougher to get in. There we go. Yeah, see, he's 3.32 kilograms. He's a fairly decent sized fish. 332 cash. All right. Well, that's quite a few species. Let's see, I think four so far. It's not too bad. I think the bull trout's the only one left. Well, anyway, guys, let me see here. I'm going to take a look on the inventory. I don't know how we buy anything. 
We've got moving around, fight fish, float fishing, spinning around. I guess maybe, I don't know if we go to our inventory to, to purchase or... So we got that equipped. Yeah, I guess we can... <coughs> oh! So we can select these, too. That's interesting. These spinner baits. Be interesting to see what this does. Especially over here where I was fishing earlier. Now we gotta change our speed back down. It resets itself. See, that's something that drives me crazy that some of these will do is they'll reset everything back to its original default setting. You gotta readjust it all again. Yeah, the trout really love the spinner baits. That's why I thought this is this should work well. Check them out. Boom. There you go. Well, I am going to go off screen, guys, and try a little bit of the float fishing. But since I've figured out how to get to the other types of baits, it may just be that they're not going for the bread. I mean, simply put, there was worms and a few other things there. So it's definitely worth it a try. Yeah, this guy's fairly good size for this map. Alright, let's get him in. There he is. He's 1.91 kilograms. That's roughly about 4 pounds. Not a bad little sockeye. Alright guys, well I think that's a cool first look at this. I'm sure the abilities for the other maps and other things that are coming are going to be a lot better. But for a demo, not too bad honestly. Not bad at all. Well, anyway guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. And I will see you later. Bye bye.